Hi guys, I'm Proto Magical Girl, and in this video tutorial, because I do have a YouTube channel, believe it or not, that I just haven't used in like a year, I am going to show you how to take advantage of a new feature that OBS just released, which is compatibility with VST plugins. So VST plugins are the two scary looking windows that are on the screen right now. They're um, basically s programs for audio editing and filtering that run within other programs, thus they're plugins. The two that I am using right now are called Reafear and Reacomp. And these programs are available for free. Um, to do what I am doing in this tutorial, you need to, first thing, download the Reaper plugins. See, if you just Google Reaper plugins, you'll be able to find them, or just reaper.fm slash replugs. Uh, so you download these, and once you install them, it will automatically put them in your hard drive in a folder called VST plugins in your program files. So that is important because when OBS um, goes to set up a VST plugin, and to get here, it's just right click on your audio source, filters, and then as long as you have OBS 18, OBS Studio 18.0, you will have an option for a VST 2.x plugin. So when you load up one of these, it's going to ask you to please select a plugin. Because of the way that Reaper does the install, the plugins that you just downloaded will all already be right here. So before I get into this, a quick shout out to Virus610, um, who did the original version of this tutorial that used a third party piece of software to load these plugins instead of doing it directly in OBS. Uh, it has the same end result, but doing it at OBS is just wonderfully simple, and I figure because it's easily available now, more people can do it, so that's why I'm making this new tutorial. So let's get into what I'm doing with these plugins. So this is Reifer. Um, it has a lot of functions, as you can see in this box here. The function we are using it for is called Subtractive EQ. Basically, what this thing does is it listens to your room and builds a noise profile of the idle noise in your room and then subtracts that out of your voice. So I have two fans going in this room right now, and you probably can't really hear either of them, which is just how cool this plugin is. The second thing we're using, and this is not as necessary, but it is a nice little touch. The biggest thing, though, is Reef here. This is Rea Comp. It's a compressor. Uh, basically, what a compressor does is it reduces the level of an audio signal after a certain threshold by a ratio. Um, so basically, what's happening here, you see this meter with the red, and then this output meter. What's happening? There's a ratio of 2 to 1 on this. What that means is for every two decibels my voice is above this input level here, it is reducing that signal by one decibel. What this does is it makes your voice volume more even, especially if you tend to scream on stream sometimes. A compressor will go a long way to making your audio a lot better quality for the stream. You know, there will be no more rip headphone users when you fail that trick and throw your headset to the ground. Um... And so this is really useful for getting that like level audio that's going to help the quote unquote stream experience. So let's get into how to setting this up. So in case you were wondering just how big of an effect this has, check this out. So this is my voice with these filters on. Now listen, there's background noise and my voice is a lot less even. So that's just how good these plugin add-ons are, and that's why I wanted to do this tutorial, because it is super useful for stream quality, especially if you're like me, and live in a room with a lot of background white noise. I have two fans, a small refrigerator, there's a heater. I live in, like, a college dorm. It's tiny, it's full of stuff. This plugin setup is absolutely a godsend. So now let's go through setting these up. So first, we're going to make a reef here. I'm just calling it demo because this is a demo and I'm going to delete these after because I don't need them twice. So you're going to go in this little menu, check reef here standalone. And the cool thing about this is as I'm doing this, because I'm recording in OBS, you're going to hear the difference happen. 
So first thing you're going to do is go to mode and set it to support. Can you hear the difference? I'll bet you can. So what just happened there, this red line that it just drew is the subtractive EQ that it just set up. The cool thing about this plugin is it sets this up automatically for you. Um, every time I go to stream, I build the noise profile again, just cause my mic is in a little bit of a different spot. Maybe I only have one fan on. Sometimes I don't use the CRT. Speaking of which, I'm gonna turn this thing off now because it's driving me crazy. And then I'm going to rebuild this noise profile again, because now the CRT is off, and now it just is cutting out a really, really tall band of frequency. So that's Reefer. That's all the setup. Every time you go to start up stream, just come in here, sit quietly for a couple seconds, and hit automatically build noise, noise profile, and you're done. I have noticed with this that occasionally it kind of overdoes the noise profile and makes your voice sound a bit tinny. So my best advice is to, while you're trying this out, make a local recording and listen to your voice to make sure it's not doing too much. So the second plugin we're gonna set up is the compressor. Um, it looks a little scary, but it's really not that bad. So recomp, you're just gonna grab recomp, not re-xcomp. That one's a lot more complicated and scarier. So this thing has a lot of stuff on it, but here's the thing. We're not going to use just about any of this. So you're going to leave this, this, this as they are. Enable classic attack and auto release. Set this to two. Um, if you are a stream screamer or you just have a very, very wide range of volume, you can take that up to four if you'd like. But for a natural sounding voice, I would recommend the two to one ratio. So what you want to do is take this knob here, your input level, and pull it down to just under where your highest normal voice is, so that it's just compressing a tiny bit when you're talking naturally, but if you do something really loud, it's going to compress it. If you'd like, this uh, plugin also has a high-pass filter built in. Um, what you can do is set this to 61, Hertz, and what that is going to do is it is going to cut off frequencies below 61, which includes 60 Hertz, which is notorious for that 60 cycle hum on your NTSC consoles. If you're Steven 1704, you can set this to 51 and you'll be just fine. Um, so basically, that's really all the setup there is for this. You'll see as you're talking, you'll get a little bit of red up here in the top of this meter. That means the compressor's taking off a little bit of volume, and that is exactly what you want. And that's it. That's the entire setup for these two plugins. So one last time. Here's my voice without these plugins. Listen to all of the noise and the uneven levels when I start talking louder. And then once you re-enable everything, listen to how much cleaner it is. And that's how you use uh, VST plugins in OBS. If you have questions, feel free to tweet at me, twitter.com slash princessproto. 
or send me a whisper on twitch.tv slash protomagicalgirl. Um, hopefully in the future I will do more tutorials like this. For example, could definitely use something with the re-EQ, but that's for another day. So thanks for watching, I hope this helps, and feel free to ask me any questions that you might have. Bye bye